going to show you some various components of the machine. This is the dish that goes on the back of the machine, that big dish that spins as you're traveling through time. It's made out of a sheet of aluminum, eighth inch thick. Um, I would have spun it myself, but there was no way I could tool up for it. But I was very lucky to find this a metal spinning company in Vancouver, Canada that had a tool, a shape, a wooden shape, that they were able to spin this. And it's very close to the original, so it worked out great for me. And then um, recently I've been working on the control lever for the machine, which is a, a crystal lever. I've uh, turned this out of copper on a lathe and there are some various other little metal components that will go to it and eventually the crystal will sit like this in the lever. This piece, which is right now a prototype made of plastic, will eventually be made out of green marble, which I'll be spinning on a lathe as well. well this is the console which gives you the date and time and the control of your traveling and what I've done is I've made 200 rivets out of brass which will um, make it look very, uh, like, uh, very Victorian in construction once these brass rivets are applied to the machine in various places. And for the, the, uh, the speedometer, if you want to call it that, the odometer, that's going on the, uh, the timeometer, that's going on to the console. Uh, I, took, uh, I made a, a foam cutting machine, which is a very hot wire that cuts um, this insulating foam. And I was able to use this brass plate, which I cut out of 11 gauge brass on a scroll saw. And I put it onto the foam, cut it on the hot wire. Do I believe time travel is possible? Well, from what I know about it, it's, uh, if it is possible, it's probably very impractical. It would be great to get it to work, of course. I mean, not just be uh, uh, an object to look at, but something you could take a ride in. Part of my goal in building this machine is just expanding my uh, knowledge of craftsmanship and, and working with materials I haven't worked with before. But I also think of my machine as possibly being an heirloom something that I could burden generations to come with. You know, they'd be wondering, what are we gonna do with this thing? Why did, why did great grandpa make this thing? And can we sell it? What, you know, so I guess it, it, it serves generally, basically two purposes for me. The, the process of building and burdening generations to come. If somebody announces that they have built a time machine in their basement, all I can do is laugh, because that violates the known laws of physics. However, if one day somebody knocks on your door and claims to be your great-great-great-great-granddaughter, a few thousand times removed, well, don't slam the door, because it is conceivable that perhaps our civilization our puny type zero civilization, which uses oil and coal as our supply of energy, may one day possess galactic power as a type three civilization. And when you become type three, then there is the possibility, just the possibility, that perhaps you can open gateways through space and time and then meet your illustrious ancestor way back in the 21st century. Now, my colleague Stephen Hawking, the great cosmologist, has stated in the past that he doesn't believe in time travel because where are the tourists from the future? We don't see them taking pictures of us. However, my attitude is the following. If you're walking down a country road and you see an anthill, do you go down to the ants and say, I bring you trinkets, I bring you beads, I bring you nuclear energy? I give you the secrets of time travel. Or do you simply step on a few of them? Well, the distance between us and ants is similar to the distance between us and a type three civilization. So we are so arrogant and conceited that we believe that we're worth visiting from the future or from civilizations in outer space. What makes us so interesting that a civilization that advanced, that can go between stars and galaxies, would be interested in a puny type zero civilization like us.